Contemporary Amperex Technology, or CATL, is poised to launch a battery that will last 16 years or 2 million kilometers. Chairman Zheng Yu Chun said in an interview at the company's headquarters in Ninde, Southeast China. Extending this period is seen as a key step forward in the evolution of batteries for electric vehicles. It'll reduce the cost of owning an electric car and create favorable conditions for the process of erasing gasoline-powered cars into electric vehicles. For that reason, battery technology with a capacity of 2 million kilometers was born, and it's ready to run on electric cars by an official announcement from 52-year-old Zhang. If someone places an order, we are ready to fulfill it. So how superior is this battery model, and why is it best suited for electric vehicle production? Let's take a closer look at the outstanding advantage of this new battery and see what makes it tick in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Before we start, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our exciting videos in the future. Now, let's get into it. This new 2 million kilometer battery is also known as a new battery with self-healing and longer life technology. The core of CATL's self-healing and long life battery technology is to slow down the rate of capacity degradation, which means controlling the rate of active lithium consumption. Capacity degradation is related to the positive, negative, and electrolyte. Actually, its service life can reach 16 years or 2 million kilometers. This is now the finest battery for electric vehicles because its life is 4.14 times longer than the battery life of the Tesla Model 3. According to a tweet by Elon Musk, the Tesla Model 3 three batteries should last between 300,000 miles, 300,000 miles, or 482,803.2 kilometers. Because CATL's low lithium consumption anode is used in this battery, which can drastically minimize the consumption of active lithium content during cell operation while also improving the surface and structural stability of the anode material, it's crucial for meeting the ultra-long life performance criteria. A self-dormant passivation in interface is also created, possibly employing FIC coating technology on cathodes to lower the activity of lithium ions to lower the activity of lithium ions during storage and reactivate the ions when the battery is used. During cycles and storage, the cathode's side reactions could be drastically minimized. So, how does this battery reach a capacity of 2 million kilometers? This new battery is reducing human dependence on chemical energy with innovative revolutionary battery technology and realizes the shared vision of global sustainable development. First off, it's a high energy density technology with 330 watt hours per kilogram, which is 2.2 times that of the highest energy densities of any battery technology today. Lithium cobalt batteries at only 150 watt hours per kilogram. Even the first generation of sodium ion batteries can only reach 160 watt hours per kilogram, which makes it 2.06 times lower than this battery technology. There are specific technologies that have been used to obtain such an outstanding power density. For example, the Breakthrough CTP technology with a highly integrated structure design has greatly boosted the volumetric usage efficiency of the battery pack, which has increased from 55% for the first generation CTP battery to 72% for the third generation generation. And cell-to-chassis technology integrates the battery cell with the vehicle body, chassis, electric drive, thermal management, and different high and low voltage control modules. Extending the driving range to over a thousand kilometers, it also improves power distribution and reduces usage to less than 12 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Furthermore, the utilization of high nickel and high voltage technology is bundled together in the manufacturing of this excellent battery. Lastly, this is also called a super fast charging technology with a charging ability of reaching 0 to 80% capacity in 5 minutes. Previously, many consumers were opposed to transitioning to transitioning from gasoline to electric automobiles due to fears that the lengthy charging period would disrupt their journey. This super fast charging technology is 2.2 times faster than the average time to fill a truck's gas tank, which is 
11 minutes. It also saves 15 minutes as compared to sodium batteries, which charge for up to 20 minutes every time. Next, when is this new battery coming to Tesla's Model 3? The refreshed Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive will feature CATL's M3P battery cells in a 66 kilowatt hour pack. This addition might significantly increase in range due to this battery alone. Rumors in China have circulated that Tesla plans to use CATL's M3P batteries for revamped rear-wheel drive Model 3s under Project Highland. CATL assured that the M3P cells are different in the way that the iron is enriched with a mix of materials that include magnesium, zinc, and aluminum. It's possible to say then that Tesla and CATL have a good predestined relationship. They have a lengthy history of working together and until now, C. CATL's M3P battery cells are currently used in Tesla's best-selling Model 3 variant. However, as the new batteries are optimized, it is certain that Tesla's models will use this high-capacity battery technology in the near future. Typically, as last year, CATL announced that the M3P cells would be supplied to Tesla in early 2023, although it didn't happen. Instead, the new cells will land in the battery packs of the refreshed Model 3 R. WD, which is expected to start deliveries in the coming months. This information has been confirmed by the Chinese media, which also says that the new battery packs offer a nice capacity boost from 60 kilowatt hours to 66 for the Model 3 RWD. This is the second battery upgrade for the base version of the Model 3, which started with a 55 kilowatt hour LFP or lithium iron phosphate pack. This ensures better performance than the traditional lithium ion battery while keeping the price well below the nickel manganese cobalt cells used in high performance EVs. Compared to traditional lithium battery cells, the M3P cells have a longer life cycle and lower internal resistance. This allows faster charging times and higher discharge currents, hence more powerful drive configurations. Based on the announcement, this new battery pack will also be installed in future versions of the Model 3. And now now, the Model 3 RWD in the United States has an EPA estimated range of 272 miles. In China, the Model 3 RWD has an estimated range of 556 kilometers or 345 miles based on the CLTC standard. The Model 3s sold in China have a battery pack with a 60 kilowatt hour capacity. In August of 2022, CATL's chairman noted that M3P batteries have improved energy density between 10 to 20% compared to lithium iron phosphate cells currently on the market. EATL estimates that M3P batteries can run 700 kilometers equivalent to 430 miles on a single charge. Its batteries are also expected to cost significantly less than nickel and cobalt based cells. As such, the revamped Model 3s under Project Highland might be more affordable and have more range. This has been the most recent developments in Tesla's Model 3 battery technology. Following this, we'll go through the most recent information on the 2 million kilometer battery technology. At that time, Zeng also confirmed that it would cost about 10% more than the batteries now inside EVs. Specifically, nowadays, a battery pack for an electric vehicle costs between four to $15,000. So if the math is correct, a set of these supercharged batteries could cost around $16,500. For example, this depends on the Tesla model you own. Replacing a Tesla battery in a Model S premium sedan can cost around $20,000, which is 1.2 times more expensive than this new battery. Aside from that, the Volkswagen e-Golf is yet another EV with a high battery price of $23,443, which is 1.42 times higher than the cost of this 2 million kilometer battery. It can be said then that the Volkswagen e-Golf Golf is the most expensive battery among all electric vehicles. In terms of safety, four-dimensional safety protection gives batteries aircraft level assuredness. CATL creates a self-stabilizing battery system with gas electric separ separation and active isolation in order to achieve high efficiency integration and high safety of high energy density batteries that are compatible with all chemical systems and voltage platforms. 
In extreme circumstances, the early warning model of parametric failure and risk developed on the basis of big data ensures quick response of the battery system. It allows the car to immediately launch a cooling strategy and swiftly diagnose and remedy the problem, or problems. It analyzes, excavates, and extracts the deep features of data to summarize internal relationships among characteristics, variables, and then in conjunction with signal testing and transmission technology, constructs a fault real-time testing system that provides early warnings about battery faults, identifying each and every abnormality among the operation process. This new battery's automatic temperature control technology is an excellent solution to worries about electric vehicles being difficult to use in cold weather, particularly while working on snow. SOC Quick Correction Technology and Automatic Temperature Control Technology are included. Your automobile is ready to drive in the snow after 15 minutes of charging. If the the outside temperature is below 0 degrees Celsius, this new battery can warm up to 6 degrees Celsius each minute. Self-heating technology ensures that the cells heat up evenly to the greatest extent. It can overcome the uneven heating of the cell by conventional heating that uses a regular heating film. CATL has produced a set of algorithms for quick correction that can accurately predict the state of a cell within one minute and maintain the SOC error rate with within plus or minus 3%. The high activity cathode material that is used in this battery gives lithium ions the ability to move quickly and adapt to all weather usage scenarios. The low viscosity electrolytes can increase the conduction speed of the lithium ions. This ensures that the lithium ions in the vehicle itself can move freely even in extreme environments and even if the weather is freezing. So how does the smart quick charging approach of the 2 million kilometer battery work. This is Smart Management Technology, which is a 24-hour full life cycle comprehensive monitoring. Based on the intelligent BMS fast charging strategy, as well as the accurate recognition of temperature and SOC, the battery can be charged quickly within the healthy charging zone while being protected from any relevant damage, thereby preventing power or mileage drops suddenly and quickly. This wireless communication within this pack can simplify pack assembly, lower the cost, improve reliability, and realize 24-hour real-time monitoring. CATL said the technology, which is common to both ternary materials and lithium iron phosphate materials, has the capacity for mass production, which can alleviate the pain of mileage degradation, significantly reducing the cost of battery usage and improve the economics of EVs compared to fuel vehicles. With all these amazing features, what features do you wish the company to work on more? Go ahead and leave a comment below to share with me your thoughts. Now, why does the American public benefit economically from the recycling of this 2 million kilometer battery? Well, most of the electric vehicle batteries on the market will give you an official guarantee of a total mileage of about 250,000 kilometers and a life expectancy of 8 years. Meanwhile, we have a 2 million kilometer and 16 year life for this battery, which means that the power battery is still usable at the end of the vehicle's life and that the dismantled power cell is still usable. It might be able to continue to be installed on new vehicles, which would greatly reduce the cost of the vehicle. On the other hand, recyclable parts of these battery components are utilized to manufacture fresh batteries. Despite most types of batteries being recyclable, research has suggested that only 10 to 12 percent of batteries sold annually in North America are recycled. By recycling used batteries, the environment can be helped by reducing the amount of waste sent to landfills. Due to the heavy metal content, discharged batteries sent to landfills can corrode that generally release toxins into the air and land. These toxins can be harmful to the environment. Analysis from IHS Market estimates that there are currently around 10 billion or about 465,000 tons of used electric vehicle batteries in need of processing today and expects that number to grow to 29 billion by 2025. More importantly, other reports showcase that nearly 100% of spent lead batteries in the US are recycled. More than 129 million lead batteries are recycled every year and kept in landfills. A new lead battery is typically composed of more than 80% recycled material, and the lead in lead batteries is infinitely recyclable. In contrast, the researchers said only about 5% of used lithium 
lithium-ion batteries are currently recycled in the United States. And now that the battery recycling sector is helping to create new work prospects for Americans aged 45 and up, an age group when job opportunities are scarce, there's an estimate that the US will make 2.3 million jobs within the recycling industry in 2030, forecasted to be at a market value of 88.1 billion US dollars. Back in 2022, the recycling industry was worth an estimated $91 billion in revenue and the average salary for a recycling worker is $16.55 per hour in the United States. So how much does a recycling worker make where you live? Let me know in the comments down below, uh, asking for a friend. And for the last bit of news of today's episode, Tesla increases battery production at Giga Nevada. Tesla is accelerating plans to increase battery cell production at Giga Factory Nevada. Increasing battery production at this site will likely help Tesla increase its vehicle production capacity and benefit from the Inflation Reduction Act's electric vehicle tax credits. Giga Factory Nevada is a project owned by Tesla, but Panasonic has battery cell production within the project. The Japanese company has decided to increase battery production due to pressure from Tesla, its largest EV battery customer. Tesla recently told Panasonic that it would buy as much as they can make, according to an executive at the Japanese manufacturer, hinting at Tesla's scramble to secure batteries in the increasingly competitive EV industry. Tesla has made similar public statements in the past, emphasizing that its 4680 production lines would not disrupt any cell supply relations with other battery suppliers. Musk and other Tesla executives have always been clear that the company would still buy battery cells from its partners, including LG Energy Solutions, Panasonic, and CATL in China. In response to Tesla's statement, Panasonic decided to install an additional production line at Giga Factory Nevada. The executive who shared information on the matter added that Giga Nevada is already cramped, explaining why only one battery cell production line is being added. The new 4680 cell production line is expected to begin operation in a year or two. It's estimated to increase the annual production capacity of the site by about 10% from 38 gigawatt hours to 39 gigawatt hours. At 39 gigawatt hours, Giga Nevada would produce enough battery cells for Tesla to manufacture between 500,000 to 700,000 Tesla Model 3 vehicles. It's also worth noting that Tesla is expanding Giga Factory 1 through an investment of $3.6 billion to handle its own production of all new 4680 type cylindrical battery cells at around 100 gigawatt hours per year, if not more, and Tesla semi trucks up to 50,000 annually. That would mean that Panasonic's move to add a 15th line is just a side action to address the current demand for the 2170 type batteries. However, Tesla isn't the only EV automaker investing in battery cell production. The Inflation Reduction Act's EV credits for domestic cell production has encouraged more automakers and foreign battery suppliers to build battery plants in the United States. It's worth noting that the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 promotes local battery production eligibility for the $7,500 federal tax credit incentive for electric cars as well as a tax credit of $35 per kilowatt hour of battery cells. Those are very strong incentives to convince businesses, even the cautious and reluctant players. In the fourth quarter of 2022 earnings call, Elon Musk commented that the IRA's credits for domestic manufacturing could make significant contributions in the future. Long term, we expect these, the value of these credits, to be very significant, said Musk. And in the case of Panasonic domestic manufacturing, we're splitting the value of the credits. So it will, the value of credits this year, be not so, will not be gigantic. But I think it could be gigantic. And that's about it for today's episode. So how can you use this type of battery in your electric car now? How do you want those functions to be optimized in the future? What do you think about Tesla's moves so far? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button and join our Tesla car world family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.